and welcome to Puzzle Pieces. In this episode, I want to talk about sandwich words. Now, sandwich words are words that can come after one word and also before another word to make two new valid words. So you can think of them being simultaneously a prefix and also a suffix that can be clued by the two words that they are joined to. Here's some examples. So suppose you were doing a puzzle where you had to solve a murder and you came across the following note close to the body of the victim. Now I've included a sentence at the top of the note here, something has come between us, which is intended to provide a little bit of context and instruction to the players as to what they're going to have to do to solve this puzzle. Note that I've also included dashes uh, between the left and right hand words to show the number of letters that are going to be used to fill in the sandwich words in between. And you can include those kind of additional contexts or not, depending on how hard you want to make the puzzle. OK, so let's step through. The first clue, I need a word that comes after lean and before night. Well, at least here in the UK, a lean to is a shed and tonight is obviously a word. So we're going to write two in that gap. For the next one, we can have a short stop and a stop sign. The next one is a serial killer or a killer whale. Then we have to brainwash or a washroom. Bad blood and blood pressure. And face off or offside. Finally we have shorthand or a handprint. And reading down all of these sandwich words in order then gives us the message to stop killer wash blood off hand. And perhaps this is in a room where the victim has bloody hands and when you wash them off, a code or message is revealed on them that brings on the next puzzle. The final thing to bear in mind with a puzzle like this, or in any word-based puzzle, is that obviously certain phrases, expressions, and particularly slang words are very specific to certain countries or regions even. I'm in the UK and I think the words I've used here would be fairly familiar to UK audience, but perhaps in America or Australia or anywhere else in the world that speaks English, they might use different expressions. And clearly, if your language is not English at all, you'd have to adapt this puzzle completely to use it in a foreign language. 